My favorite 80s character is headed to the big screen and I'm going to let you know if it's truly outrageous. Hey guys, welcome back to Monday Morning Critic. I'm Chris Lee Kennedy, and this week I will be reviewing Gem and the Holograms. If you don't know, a cartoon from the 80s that all of us 80s kids fell in love with. Gem was one of my favorite characters. She was amazing. She was a good friend. She was a good sister. She didn't care what people thought. She had this rockin' pink hair. She was a rock star. But then she also like saved kids from burning buildings. She had uh, a sister and then two foster sisters that she grew up with and they were a family and they sang together and they rescued people together. They were pretty amazing. When the first trailer hit, the internet broke. <laughs> Gem fans were not happy. They didn't get what they wanted. They didn't see anything that they wanted and it was really scary. Um, and instantly, not only the stars, but the director, John Chu, came up and said, you know, listen, this is not, and they never said, this was a, a remake of Gem and the Holograms. This was very much kind of a reimagining. So the biggest difference is, is that Gem um, and the Holograms are the name of the band, but they're not actually holograms like they were when we were kids. Uh, the other biggest difference is, is while Gem's not on stage in the film, she's not saving children from burning buildings either, which is something that I think of a lot of Gem fans really loved, but I don't hate that they changed that in the movie either. The way they took Gem and made it more current for this era was obviously the team behind this movie is John Chu, Scooter Braun, if you know, know who he is, behind Justin Bieber. Um, they kind of took the Justin Bieber story and melded it with the Gem and the Hologram story, which I thought was really interesting. And, and basically Kimber is obsessed with social media um, and Jerrica, also known as Jem, wants nothing to do with social media, but one night she decides that she just wants to put her music out there, but she wants to hide behind it. And so what she does is she puts on the wig and the makeup, doesn't tell anybody who she is, sings this song and says, I'm Jem. Well, Kimber uploads it to the internet and within 24 hours, it's on every radio station, MTV has it, everybody's picked up this song and it's she's become kind of an overnight sensation. Every performance is like a music video and not just like a boring music video, like Lady Gaga style music video. And John Chu has to be the reason for that because he's amazing and it's absolutely beautiful to watch. And I know a lot of people weren't happy about Audrey Peoples uh, starring as Jem, but she does a really great job and I feel like she really got the heart of the character right. And that's something that doesn't change from the cartoon to the film is the heart of Jem is exactly the same. The end of the movie is so good and so strong that if you're a true Jem fan, and you don't like the movie or the ending of the movie as much, then you're not a true Gem fan because it embodies everything that we love about Gem. The one thing that I really didn't like about the film is because Gem gets her start on YouTube and because it's a lot about these YouTube videos and YouTube sensations, um, throughout the film they put in different YouTube videos. They use it as a tool as build up. So say there's a scene where Jem is going to do something against Starlight to like get her career back. Instead of having just background music to build up that tension, something that we as viewers don't ever look at, they use a YouTube video. So they take you out of the scene and they pop up the YouTube video of like two drummers doing a drum off and then they bring you back to the movie and then as it starts to build up more, they take you out of the movie and throw you in that YouTube video. I respect that they did that and I respect why they did that and I understand the tool and how it was used, but it took you out of the film completely. As a Gem fan and a kid of the 80s, I did not want to like this movie and I did. I had so much fun, I really cried and while there were moments that took me out of the film, they really got everything that I wanted in a gem movie. They did, they got my gem, they got my character, and they got and showed all the reasons why I fell in love with her as a kid in the 80s. So I will continue to rock my pink wig and gem makeup. Next week, I will be reviewing Our Brand is Crisis. Super excited to see Sandy Bullock back in action. Make sure you meet me back here on this couch next Monday on Monday Morning Critic. See ya.